Hey, welcome back to Voltage Productions. I'm Bolton, and well, we got more devlogs. This time for Testing 101 Classic Remastered. This is going to be a smaller short term project that I'm just really doing because I want to do it. So, yeah, I'm just going to be making some devlogs for it because I think that'll be pretty fun. So, yeah, I think that's kind of what I have to say for now. I'll pitch in there right now and again to explain what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, let's get, let's get into it. Okay, so the characters uh, you're seeing on the screen were actually designed a long time ago. The main reason I decided to use them was because I didn't want to just reuse my FNAF 1 designs because I'm not done updating them yet, but also because I want them to have kind of its own unique identity, and I didn't want to just reuse the Wibberts because then, well, because uh, I already kind of used them for a game. So I decided to just use these designs. They've been chilling around my PC for a while, it just made sense to me. As you probably guessed, I'm making the menu for the game. Currently, as of recording this, there's not really much to the menu right now, but I do think that in the final release build, there will be a lot more to it. So, as for IDM's Code of Classic Remastered, this game is just meant to be a simple remaster of my first ever playable game, Testing 101, the original build. It recently got archived, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. I just showed the old office, so it's just a Google image. Yes, I used to be one of those developers, very glad I'm not anymore. Can I just like, kind of also recreate the old office, but also just make it adhere to my style and try and make it look good in the final product. I think it turned out pretty well. Currently I'm trying to recreate the multi-monitor setup from the old office. The first thing I tried didn't really look all that great and it was a bit small, so I decided to just simplify it a bit. The static images you're seeing there are basically just pulled from a failed click team project. It's something I do want to pick up in the future, so I'm not going to say what project it is. Since nowadays I make all my sprites for rooms and such in Paint.net instead of Microsoft Paint like I should have been ages ago, I was able to tamp around with my brush settings and make it look a lot more like a monitor. The original Testing 101 along with Sandbox later on would both end up having this main hub camera thing. It doesn't really serve much purpose other than just being where the animatronics position, first position is. But, you know what, it's basically a tradition to keep it around and you know what, I'll probably come up with something later on. The 
potentially. Currently, I'm designing some UI for the game. The original gameplay of the game from 2020 was really bad, so I decided to go in a whole new direction for this. I think you'll maybe like it when it comes out. I don't really have any way of guaranteeing it, but nonetheless, I do think you guys will like it. Now I'm designing some stuff for the character and its actual mechanics. This is going to be all part of the main mechanic. I'll explain it a bit more in a future devlog, since most of this devlog was spent making assets, as asset creation is basically, it's basically the most time consuming part of game development. Hmm, how odd. I don't have a recollection of making any of this. Hmm, how weird. Now time to code everything in. Currently as a recording, the menu is still pretty bare bones, but again, like I said earlier, I do plan on adding more to it later. Okay, so I just had to cut out some of that footage, but basically, what I'm doing here is I'm putting in some animations in the office to make it more visually interesting, specifically on the monitor in front of you.
currently everything I've put into the game at the moment is purely visual. I haven't really added any function yet because I'm not ready to add any function to it yet. I hope to do that in the next devlog. The ABCG is going to be part of the main mechanic. I think Yamasan will understand. I would think he would appreciate the fact that he is eating an egg and not jello. Eggy has served as well. Eggy has served as well. Thank you for your sacrifice. May you rest in pieces. Yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Do you need help? You good? I think I'm okay. Emotional support wouldn't be bad though. Good job, Elvin. You yes. got this, Elvin. Woo. You can do it, Elvin. So we got a second one. Um, what do you want to name it? Eggy Jr. <laughs> can I draw a face on it? Just for good luck. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yay! Eggy, everybody. Ta-da! He's so cute. Do you want to do the honors? No. You gave him a face. I, I feel know. very bad. I feel very bad. He's just He's looking ready. at me with the eyes. I know. He's just looking at me. I can't I do it. One shot, right? This is one this, shot. Yeah, it's one I mean, shot. This is the last 